I don't know what this stuff is, but it's pretty great. She didn't even know that you have cancer. Each week we break down another Breaking Bad episode in order, and this week it's the season two finale, ABQ. This is remembered for answering the pink bear mystery, but I think it does the episode a disservice. What really matters is two turning points that alter the course of the Breaking Bad universe. Although the airplane storyline does have an unbelievable real world connection. Stay tuned to see all of this. We get an encore of most of the previous black and white cold opens. About nine of these bears were handmade for the show. Two were later auctioned off for over 20 thousand dollars each. OMI stands for Office of Medical Investigation, which doesn't provide much of a clue, but NTSB is a big clue. And then we fade into color, confirming our suspicions that we'll finally see what happened at the end of this episode. Kristen's wearing a metal cast for her protection. I don't enjoy ruining dramatic scenes, but Jesse's tattoo does look pretty fake here. How sad is it that Walt is the only person he'd call? Slow down. Everything. It's gonna be okay, I promise. I know who to call. Bob Odenkirk wasn't available because he was filming for How I Met Your Mother. Ah, Michael, call 911! It's Marshall, by the way. Ah! This was going to be him, serious and subdued, and potentially the last time we saw Saul. Instead, the writers invented Mike, which changed everything. Saul Goodman sent me. It was snowing that day, and one big flake made it into the episode. Come on. Inside. We can see her breathing, and she just blinked. So did Jane fake her death and run off to New Zealand? Alaska? Say it please. I woke up, I found her, that's all I know. <laughs> that was a real slap. Aaron confirmed he held nothing back and it hurt a lot. I woke up, I found her, that's all I know. I was not here. However, Mike took off his gloves before opening the door. It wasn't on screen though, so maybe he pulled out a handkerchief. Also, after Mike says, Count down from 20, then you die. He opens the door exactly 20 seconds later. Junior! Flynn. Flynn! They've got two cartons of milk, 2% for Skylar and fat-free for Walt. Although Skylar's milk is also magical as the carton turns on its own. Flynn, get your butt in here! Mom! Dad! Come here! You gotta see this! Actual donations for your dad? <laughs> Isn't this awesome? Wow. That is something. <laughs> Walt. Hey, if you're trying to sell me something, I've got four little words for you. Do not call list. Now, how did I know you wouldn't be answering your phone? I'm on my way, I'm gonna be there momentarily. I expect you on the porch, bag packed, ready to go. No excuses. Sir, you may not wanna be here for this. Place of birth? Phoenix. Will you both be coming? Not so subtle camera work there. He's a good man. Vince Gilligan hand wrote that sign. Biggest donation? Gets a six pack of my very own Schrader Brow. Home brewed, silky perfection. Smallest donation gets two six packs. Christian Ortega, AKA Combo. Why am I talking about him? Anyone? Bueller. Bueller. This reference is noteworthy Bueller. because the movie's star, Matthew Broderick, along with John Cusack, were originally offered the Walter White role, but turned it down. Got reports of the blue stuff. Making a scene here in Texas, Arizona, Colorado, Nevada. In fact, everywhere but here. I say Heisenberg's still out there. <gasps> for, for, for $40, 2018, <laughs> yes! <laughs> Your guy found him? So shut up and give me the address. Police could be the least of it. You could just get mugged or shot. How about you go on home, Walter? Let me handle this. Walt is feeling remorse and willing to take a risk for Jesse. Recognize him? He appeared in season one when Wendy was introduced. Jesse, look at me, son. Notice that he just called him son. Come on, here we go. I killed her. You didn't kill anybody. <laughs> this is the only time we see the inside of Jane's apartment. I thought this could have been Georgia O'Keeffe, but it's Elizabeth Bishop, Vince Gilligan's favorite poet. Earlier, Jane's dad revealed that Bishop is also Jane's mother's maiden name. The biggest surprise is that her mural includes a pink teddy bear falling from the sky. I'm not blue. I mean, blue is blue. A funny line because that looks Marie purple to me. Yeah, it's nice. We cut right to Holly, who's in the same position as that dress. The website's ding sounds almost exactly like Hector's bell, which adds yes. insult to injury each time Walt hears it. The dinging, turn down the volume. Dad, it, it's money. The noise is disturbing. The baby. Guess what? What? You are gonna be in the newspaper with a photo and everything. Awesome, <laughs> it'll mean more hits. And more contributions. Wow, 
Agent Schrader, I'd like you to meet Gustavo Fring of Los Pollos Hermanos. Please, just Gus. Hi, Gus. Got to tell you, you guys make some killer chicken. <laughs> the group that uh, I supervise focuses on methamphetamine, which uh, is a growing problem in the country, unfortunately. Terrible. Is this one of your agents? Oh, uh, yeah, no, no, that's, that's my brother-in-law. Lung cancer. That's a rough one. This unique rehab building is actually part of an Albuquerque casino. What you said in the desert. I get it. I deserve this. I deserve whatever happens. Unlike Jesse, Walt doesn't try to convince him otherwise. Oh, oh, there he is. I thought we were just talking about a newspaper story. Six thousand three hundred and sixty dollars. Wow. That's not an actor. It's real life camera operator and director of photography Peter Raniers. There's such focus on her shoe because the script originally had Walt throwing up on it at the end of the interview. Would you say he's your hero? Oh yeah. Y yes, ma'am. Relax, Jet. I don't know what this stuff is, but. Pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your phone? Hmm? Your cell phone, did you bring it? Which one? I'm pretty sure he didn't he didn't bring it, Mom. yourself some real time here. The pink sweater prepares us for the arrival of the pink bear. That's great. This is the last time we see Dr. Del Cavoli. The actor, David House, unfortunately died from cancer. Can he go back to work or? I'd give it a few more weeks. But he can be on his own. I mean, just more, you know, independent. Yes, use your best judgment. Now that's good news for you, honey. <laughs> One less baby in the house. <laughs> Welcome back. Thanks. It's good to be back. We we're all so sorry to hear. After a certain point, time off doesn't help. So I figured I'd rather be here. Juliet 5, Bravo. I don't say altitude. I think I may just keep this. He does keep the iconic goatee debuted here until the penultimate episode of the series. It was fake here, though, because there wasn't enough time to grow it while filming. I'm going to Hank and Marie's for the weekend. Since when? Here we go, the real climax in my mind. I want you to pack your things and leave. Why would I do that? I want you. Me why? Because you're a liar, Walt. Right before your surgery, I asked if you had packed your cell phone, and you said, which one? I was medicated. I think you accidentally told the truth. It got me thinking again about all the strange behavior, your fugue state. I had to believe that, didn't I? I'm having an affair. Is that what you think? That's what I was thinking, yeah, for the last few weeks. With whom? My guess was Gretchen Schwartz. I am not having an affair with Gretchen. Oh, I know, because I asked her. Gretchen and Elliot didn't give you a dime. They paid for nothing. Over $100,000. Out of where? Out of thin air. But then... Yeah. Oh, thanks for that, too. <laughs> it, it turns out that not only is the money not from your mother, she didn't even know that you have cancer. You never went to see her. I, I, I dropped you at the airport. I picked you up. You were gone for four days. And yet she swears that you were never there. Lies on top of lies. Santa, please don't go. Stay, and I will tell you everything. He is serious here. I'm afraid to know. Notice the police car blocking the road for filming. Juliet, Mike 21, climb and maintain 17,000. Jane, Mike 21, turn heading. Disregard. JM is an airline from Kenya, NV is from Nigeria, and SAA was South African Airways. So I wonder who designed this screen. That's the same noise from the pilot when Walt found out he had cancer. In 1986, Aeromexico Flight 498 collided with a private plane due to an air traffic controller being distracted. The air traffic controller's name? Walter White. 
The four episodes that started with black and white and pink flash forwards had strategically chosen titles that make the phrase 737 down over ABQ, which was an additional clue about the shocking finale. Shout out to my channel members. Last week a record breaking seven new ones showed up on the radar. Put it on my bill, poor performance indeed, David Burrish, Cartoon Zando, Daniel C, Andrew Shea, and Supo MC, another cat. This enabled me to add another members only emoji. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. YouTube told me we recently surpassed 1 million views. We've now broken down the first 20 episodes of Breaking Bad, but we're just getting started. On to season 3.